This video shows how to answer some of the common practice problems on circle. So let's say this is the given setup. Find the standard form of the equation of the given circle. We have the center and the radius. Remember that the standard form of the equation of a circle is given by the squared quantity of x minus h plus the squared quantity of y minus k is equal to r squared. Should you wish to know how to get the standard form of the equation of the circle, you may watch this video. Going back, so let's say for number 1. The center is 1, 2. So this is our h and this is our k. So following the equation of the circle, this would give us x minus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to, that would be r squared. So we're going to do 4 squared. Therefore, this would be x minus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to 16. For number 2, this would be x minus negative 5 squared plus y minus 8 then squared is equal to 7 squared. Simplifying, x minus negative 5 will give us x plus 5 squared plus y minus 8 squared is equal to 49. For number 3, this would give you x minus negative 6 then squared plus y minus negative 10 squared is equal to the square root of 13 and then square of that. And then simplifying the inner terms, that would be x plus 6 squared plus y plus 10 squared is equal to, this would now be just 13. How about for the setup? You're asked to get the center and radius and sketch the graph. So again, this is our h and this is our k. The center would now be at 2, 3. Remember that this 4 is equal to r squared. We just need the radius. So to get the radius, we have to do r squared is equal to 4. And then we need to get the square root of both sides to get r alone. So that would be the square root of r squared is equal to the square root of 4. Now we can have r is equal to 2. We have to take the positive value because we're referring to a distance. Now plotting the points, we can have 2, 3 here in the first quadrant. We can easily identify 4 points on the circle with the radius of 2 that we have here. So one point would be at 4, 3. Another point would be at 2, 1. Another point would be at 0, 3. And we have 2, 5. And then sketching the graph, or the, uh, the circle, would give us this. Another example. This is our h and this is the k. Therefore, our center would now be negative 4, 1. Radius, that would be r squared is equal to 9. So to get r alone, we have to get the square root of 9. Therefore, the radius would be 3. So sketching the graph, negative 4, 1 is here, in the second quadrant. And then identifying other points that would have 3 units away from the center. That would be at negative 1, 1. Another point would be at negative 4, negative 2. Another one would be at negative 7, 1. And another would be at negative 4, positive 4. And then trying to sketch the graph would give you this. In this case, you are asked to identify the standard form of the equation of the circle with center at 3, negative 1, and tangent to x is equal to 5. 
3 negative 1, plotting the point would be here. Now, how do we show tangent to x is equal to 5? That line would give you a vertical line that would intersect the x-axis at 5. So, this line would give you x is equal to 5. Now, since we know the center of the circle, we can say that the equation would be x minus 3 squared plus y minus negative 1 squared is equal to, we need the radius. Now, for the radius, we can say that since the circle would be tangent to x is equal to 5, this would be the point of tangency at 5 negative 1. And because of that, we can say that the distance between these two points would give you r is equal to 2. So this would give you 2 squared. Simplifying this, we have x minus 3 squared plus y plus 1 squared is equal to 4. Showing the graph would be like this. And this is the equation of the given circle. In this example, the center is at 2, 0, and tangent to y is equal to negative 3. 2, 0 is here along the x-axis. y is equal to negative 3 is a line which is horizontal and intersects the y-axis at negative 3. So this is your y is equal to negative 3. So analyzing this, we can say that the point of tangency is at 2, negative 3. Therefore, it would give us a distance of r is equal to 3. So using the information that we have, x minus 2 squared, since this is our h, k, plus y minus 0 squared, is equal to r is 3 and then squared. Simplifying, I have x minus 2 squared plus y squared is equal to 9. So this is the standard form of the equation of this circle. And then sketching the graph would get you this. In this example, we are given the endpoints of the diameter of the circle. And we are asked to get the standard form of the equation of the given circle. So in this case, remember that a diameter is a chord that passes through the center. Also, the center is the midpoint of the endpoints of the diameter. Therefore, how do we get the center? We can get it by using the midpoint formula. And that would be x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by 2, and then y sub 1 plus y sub 2 divided by 2. In this case, let's say that x sub 1 is 1, x sub 2 is 5, y sub 1 is 7, and y sub 2 is 9. So substituting the values, we can say that our center would be 1 plus 5 divided by 2, 7 plus 9 divided by 2. Simplifying this would give you 6 divided by 2 is 3. 7 plus 9, 16 divided by 2 is 8. So we have the center. We have to identify the radius for us to complete the standard form of the equation of the circle. So a radius is the distance between the center and any point on the circle. So doing that, we can use the distance formula in getting the radius. So let us use the point 1, 7 and the center 3, 8. So let us say that our x sub 1 is 1, x sub 2 is 3, y sub 1 is 7, and y sub 2 is 8. So doing this would be r is equal to the square root of, that is 3 minus 1 squared plus 
8 minus 7 squared. R is equal to the square root of, this would be 2 squared, plus 8 minus 7 is 1 squared. R is equal to the square root of, this is 4, plus 1. So R is equal to the square root of 5. In the equation, we need R squared. So we have to do R squared is equal to the square root of 5 and then square this. Therefore, R squared would give you 5. So to answer the question, our standard form of the equation of the circle for this example would be the squared quantity of x minus 3 plus the squared quantity of y minus 8 is equal to 5.